Every once in a while, fellas, your letters asking for two famous comedians cause a young hurricane around command performance. So hold on to your G.I. hat, for here they come. Abbott and Costello! Look, suppose you walk into a restaurant, and the way the place is over here, a platter of beans. Over here, a great big juicy steak. Now, which one of these two would you eat? I ate the steak. You would. I like Do you know where that steak comes from? A cow. A cow. And you, just to satisfy your selfish appetite, you let them go out and kill a poor, innocent little cow. Now I'm killing cows. Uh, you know what that cow gives? No. That cow gives milk. No, she you don't. you got to take it away from no, her. I never mind the remark. That cow gives milk. Who does that milk supply? Little baby. Little innocent touch. Without that milk, they'd perish, die. But you don't care. Just so that you can have your steak, you let them go out, kill all the cows, and let the little babies of the world starve to death. I'm a love. No. Yeah. I'm killing babies, cows, putting people out of work. You realize what you're doing? I'm wrecking the country just because I won't eat mustard. Now, I'll blame it on mustard. You still haven't answered one question. Why don't you ask me something with a little sense to it? Will you answer it? Go ahead, take a second. All right. Make it easy. All right. Say you walk into a railroad depot, any depot. Say the Grand Central Depot in New York City. Now, you walk into that depot and you buy a ticket. Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. All right, well, what are you buying a ticket for? I'm not buying a ticket. What are you doing in the depot? Ask me that again, slow. Now, don't get excited. I asked you to ask me something easy, well, did I? Well, simple enough. Now, ask me something easy. You're in the Grand Central Depot. What are you doing there? I don't know. Well, what does anyone go to a depot for? Two or three things. We don't... Look, uh, I'm only asking you, what are you doing in that depot? I'll go away. That's the boy. Now, there's no harm in that, is there? No, no. Now, where are you going? I'm going away. Where? Why don't you let it go at that? I'm going away and that's back. But, I mean, you know where you're going. I know where I'm going. I just don't go on the railroad station without knowing where I'm going. I didn't see I you. know where I'm going. Well, tell the folks out here where you're going. I am going away. Where? Where? I'm going away. But where? Where are you going? You know where you're going, don't you? Yeah, I know where I'm going. I mean, there's no secret connected with no, it. No, no. You're not ashamed of where you're going, are you? What I've got to be ashamed of. Well, where are you going? I am going away. Where? I'll go to Baltimore. I don't want to go, but I'll go. Baltimore. What's the matter with Philadelphia? What have you got against I've got Philadelphia? nothing against Philadelphia. Then why did you have to pick out Baltimore? I've got Baltimore? friends in Baltimore. Suppose you had friends in Philadelphia. All right, then I go to Philadelphia. What happened to your friends in Baltimore? <laughs> I'm not talking to them anymore. Look, suppose your wife was in Philadelphia. Then I go to Chicago. Ah, oh, what you... Abbott and Costello. Well, fellas, one of the command performance gals who keeps frequent dates with hundreds of you is Ginny Sims. And Ginny is here tonight especially for the engineers at APO 860 and for Susina at APO 960. And hey, Susina, I hope next July the 28th you have a big party for you in Passaic, New Jersey. And Ginny's warbling tonight also for the Marines at Cristobal, for Callaway and Everett, and for Russell over there in India. Hey, you guys in Barracks 20 at APO 251, are you on the beam? And the same to Powers of APO 953. And to Profit and your buddies at APO 954. With a big hello from the state of Ohio. To Dean and Kane at Kenoki Bay. To Dallas and the gang in Barracks 32 at Honolulu. And to all of you, here's Embraceable You and Embraceable Ginny Sims. Oh, 
those many times about you. Above all, I want my arms about you. Don't be a naughty baby. Come to mama, come to mama, do. Nazi pilot said when the Flying Fortress let him have it, a few more seconds it'll all be over. Yes, sir, another command performance is almost over. But just like those Flying Fortresses, there'll be many more to come. Thanks a lot for the great letters you write to command performance and for giving the American entertainment industry this privilege of serving you. This is Cary Grant, speaking for the United States of America, where we never say Heil to anyone and where the one big job today is beating Heil out of the axis. So long, fellas. Command Performance USA. The American entertainment industry salutes you fighting men of Uncle Sam's armed forces and your friends throughout the world. Thanks again for those letters. Keep them rolling into the station to which you are listening. And the answers will come rolling back to you each week and every week till it's over, over there. This is Don Wilson saying good night from Uncle Sam.